Hey now, it's the Rob 1061 Kiss FM alongside my broadcast colleague Hollywood Eric Cornish from KBQ. I like when you have the Think shades. When the shades, you know, I mean, I wear my shades all the time. I may not put them on my eyes, but you know. <laughs> I think it's a very heel-like gimmick for you, and I kind of appreciate it. Do I need to be the face this time? I'm not a bad guy. I don't understand why everybody thinks that. Oh, I hear at these local wrestling shows you might be every once in a while. Uh, we'll but... see. We'll see. Hey, uh, I... not local today. We're not talking local. We're going to talk the big deal, because this is probably the second biggest pay-per-view of the year for WWE. I was talking about this with a friend of mine. I feel it's the third. In my opinion, Rumble is second. But I, I agree. Think, but I do think WWE treats it as the number two show. And, and well, I think... To me, yes, Royal Rumble is my second favorite, but Royal Rumble is is basically just a setup for WrestleMania in a lot but, of ways. But I think this is kind of like the I heard somebody call it the tent pole. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. It's like the uh, the opposite end from WrestleMania. You know, kind of balancing out the years. I was watching an episode of Total Divas, which I never saw as of a week ago, but now I've seen almost the entire first season. And uh, during a photo shoot, they describe it as the second biggest show of the year. So I do think that's their mentality going into it. To me, I would call it third to Royal Rumble. But I'm also very excited. Twenty years as a wrestling fan. Good for with you. SummerSlam. Good for so, you. And not a bad show. Ninety three. 94. Or 94, I mean. My favorite uh, match of all time took place in that show. That's the match that hooked me. Bret Hart versus Owen Hart in a steel cage. And Owen then, gets his leg caught in the cage, uh-huh. upside down. And they were, uh, but when everyone ran in from the audience, like yeah. all the Hart family, yeah. the British Bulldog the and Bulldog, Jim Reinhardt, yeah. that was it. And then you follow that match with Undertaker versus Undertaker. You got you you hooked me. Yeah, there you I go. Fell under your spell, <laughs> WWE. Let's talk 2014, Eric. All right, 2014. We've got the card set up here, and we'll just go uh, straight up the card and see before see what we, we think. Yeah, before we start, we filled these out independently. Yes. I don't know what your your choices are, but I do want to say this is by far the hardest time I've had filling out one of our predictions. It, it was not easy because I mean, any of these matches I could see going either way. Um, but uh, except for maybe the main events, but even that, I, I could see him, you know, switching something I, up on this. I so. think the main event is very tough to call, but I've got my choice, and let's start. We'll start at the bottom. Well, let's start with something that they've kind of treated as a main event uh, through through Raw, and and really, it it may not be a classic match, but definitely the storyline's intriguing. Brie Bella versus Stephanie McMahon. Okay, uh, I feel like the obvious answer would be Brie Bella. And she gets her comeuppance, and they kind of tidy the whole package up. I think they want to extend this, though. I think so, too. And I think that they're going to. So I think that Stephanie will still get that heel, swiney victory. Well, here's here's what I think. I think they're going to extend it because this is all a setup for the eventual comeback of Daniel Bryan. Right. Um, I didn't think it was until they started bringing him into the storyline just a little bit, just enough to yeah. make you remember that, oh, yeah, she's married to Daniel Bryan. Uh, and now, now they've got this whole you know mistress angle or whatever going on. Um, so I kind of like what they're doing here. And yes, I think it will go a little bit further, and possibly a turn from Nikki Bella. That's what. Oh, I, really? I I'm thinking. I mean, Stephanie hasn't been in the ring in about ten years. Okay, so, and even when she was, she was okay. She wasn't great. Mm-hmm. Um, she's in great shape though. Uh, but I think she's going to need somebody to do her dirty work for her. And what better way than to bring Nikki Bella in, who she said all along, it's your sister's fault that we're doing this to you, um, that we could see a heel turn and eventually see Bella versus Bella. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if, if it's, it winds up being Brie Bella versus uh, Megan Miller? <laughs> it could be. She is a border, but and I figured she was. Yeah. I also, one more thing about that feud on Monday, I thought that the police officers did an awful job of convincing me they are real police officers, but they were the same officers from a few weeks ago when I thought they did a fantastic job. <laughs> they're they're in a different uh, jurisdiction it's, now. Apparently. It's my understanding. So awesome. Uh, let's move on to uh, Chris Jericho versus Bray Wyatt. Well, even though Luke Harper and Eric Rowan are banned from ringside, I'm going to have to go back to my thought from the last pay-per-view, and that is Bray Wyatt uh, taking the victory. I just feel like, you know, it's it's his time to get one back on Chris yeah. Jericho. I can't see Jericho getting two straight wins, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Uh, I also have Bray Wyatt as the winner, and I feel that way because Luke Harper and Eric Rowan are banned from ringside. Just trying to stack the, it against him, and the point will be he could do it without them, as right. opposed to he beat Jericho. Right. I think that's that's the story they're going to tell there, and I have to I have to reinforce uh, Jericho when he comes back. Now I I don't care. It happens so frequently. He mm-hmm. comes in, he goes away, stays for a cup of coffee, goes back. He's one of my top ten favorite wrestlers of all time, probably top five. But I don't care when he's back now. 
But you know what? He is doing what he should be doing, and that is making other guys better. You know, Good and point. Bray Wyatt, he's he's helping to do that. It didn't quite work with Fandango, but oh well. No, it didn't. Um, Next up, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton. What do you think? Uh, this is the one I had the easiest time deciding, I think. Uh, or maybe not, but either way, uh, Roman Reigns. I feel okay. like it would be in really bad booking to pull uh, to, to blow his steam right now. Yeah. He's got a lot of steam. Let's not blow that. He could be looking at a, you know, a title run before Survivor Series. So let's keep him looking good. Yeah, I think he's uh, he's got that one against Randy Orton. I think that... Uh, he he needs a good strong win here and uh, and you know Orton Orton is falling um, you know he he's never going to lose his spot I mean he's he's been around too long but um, but I feel like Roman Reigns is on the rise and he just needs to keep Orton going. is in by far the weakest spot he's been in since like his debut yeah I mean he's just he comes off looking terribly now and I don't know what the reason behind that is but I think it's Roman Reigns time for sure. Uh, then we have a tough one, a Lumberjack match. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. I'm very surprised the Lumberjack match was the stipulation here. I I mean, it's so old school, mm -hmm. but it gets some other guys on screen that normally wouldn't be. Well, and does Dean have a lot of friends in storyline? I don't feel like Dean does. I don't feel like uh, Seth Rollins really does, except for the authority. Yeah, if anyone's got friends, Seth has more than Dean, I think. So... Possibly we're looking at Seth Rollins with a win here. Maybe some help from some of the Lumberjacks, be it, you know, whoever. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like... Kane, maybe. For the same reasons I thought Bray was going to beat Jericho, I feel like Seth will beat Dean because Dean picked it. He won the, uh, the Beat the Clock Challenge. He's been the one looking strong right now, and they don't want Seth to fizzle, so I feel like Seth is going to take this one. Yeah, I, I still think they'll eventually do a match for the briefcase. I'm surprised this wasn't it, um, but uh, but anyway, I, I'm going to pick Seth on this one. I think those guys have a long time to keep fighting before it's all said. Yeah, done. four for four. We're in agreement so far. You want to talk about Swagger and Rusev? I, I've got to say Rusev on this one. I think uh, I, I think they've made Swagger look strong in this, but I think Rusev needs to win. Rusev was my gut. I feel like Jack Swagger is just going to have that that flag waving feel good moment of the night. Really, I do. I like Rusev. Uh, I think he's doing good things. I feel like a loss right now would be very detrimental to him in this feud, but I feel like I just see him waving that flag with yeah. victory. I feel like uh, Jack Slyer is going to take it. Okay. So there's uh, our first disagreement. Yeah, I, I think Rusev will. I think Rusev is headed on to bigger things, and if what yeah, happens, right. what happens in the main event aside, I think Rusev could be looking at a marquee feud before too long, and I'll, we'll share that when we get to I like the, to hear uh, you say that. So, uh, hey, I again, I'm not saying that I I like him any more than I yeah. did. I just think he's headed that way. He's doing very well. Um, how about the Intercontinental Championship? Man, I like to see these guys in a match together. The Miz and Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, this one I didn't put a lot of thought into. I just I feel like the Miz is retaining. I think so, too. I think these guys have more in the tank as well. Um, another potential for a great feud between these two. Uh, I think Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose is definitely overshadowing these guys, but uh, let's just look at it this way. If, if Brock Lesnar walks out with a WWE World Heavyweight Championship, um, this title is going to mean a whole lot more. True, very true. Because we know Brock's not going to be there every Monday night. So, um, But I will go with The Miz as well on that. I don't feel like Dolph Ziggler has a lot of championship runs left him in, in any title. I don't think that uh, they're very high on him anymore. I like him. I mean, I feel like he's looking better now than he was. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see where that goes. No Cesaro on the card. No Cesaro on the card. I, I, he'll definitely be a lumberjack. Uh, sure. But, but no, uh, no U.S. champion uh, in... Sheamus on the card either, so uh, no ta You know we don't have the tag team champions on the card. There's there's a lot That's of things right, that yeah. are on here that that are, are kind of missing. In but. fact, is everything one on one? Yeah, there's, there's yeah. everything's one on one from the looks of it. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the women's title. Any thoughts there? Um, I think AJ Lee retains here, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Paige win. Um, I agree. It, it, I think eventually that Divas Championship will be in this other feud that we're talking about for the ladies. I, I think, um, I and and Paige might be that transitional champion that is needed for somebody like Brie Bella to win it. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised here, but it just depends on how long these feuds go on. But I would say they both go on a little bit longer, and I pick AJ Lee. I have AJ as well, but also would not be surprised if Paige takes it. Uh, 
at least they have something going. I feel yeah. like at least there's a there's some sort of angle, and not just two divas wrestling. Right. I, again, if Paige wins it, it'll be transitional. But uh, but I think uh, I think AJ. Will, I agree. We'll hang on to it. This time. And then there's the main event. Yeah, John Cena, Brock Lesnar. I have to tell you, very tough. I, I even had a lot of scratches. I kept going back and forth. Um, I'm going to go with Cena. Really? I am. And I have Brock's name written, and I crossed it out because um, I feel like, you know, that could be a great person for Roman Reigns to win his first title from. Yeah. Obviously, it needs to be a monster heel, or at least a, a, a heel of some sort. Um, I feel like... They don't want to put the title on Brock because he is who he is, and he's not mm-hmm. every Monday night, and he's million dollar man per appearance or whatever he's getting paid. And um, Cena's there every week. I just feel like it's not going to be Brock. I hate to say that. I'd love to see Brock win. I think he's doing great work. I think that their last match at Extreme Rules 2012 was probably my favorite match of like the last five years. You, you know, I always spoke yeah, about that yeah. match. And uh, I'm excited for this match incredibly. I want Brock to win. If I'm placing a bet, I'm putting it on Cena, and I have no confidence in that answer. Well, I will, I, I'm will. i going the opposite route. I'm going Brock. I think Brock is going to win it. I think that they're finally going to pull the trigger on this. Uh, I, I felt when they brought Brock back, back in 2012, and he went against John Cena at Extreme Rules, I was extremely disappointed that, that he lost. That was the wrong finish. That, it was. It was horrible. I and, mean, as good a match as it was, how are you going to bring back Brock Lesnar, this monster, and immediately... Job him to John Cena, who was going on like a two week vacation. Yeah, I know, or like a month vacation. Or he was taking time off, and I didn't get that. Um, but now's the time they they put him over the Undertaker, and if they're going to do that, I hope it's worth it because he needs he needs the title. And I mean, let's face it, back in the day before you know Raw and and the Monday Night Wars and all that stuff. You know, the champion, Hogan, or whoever it was, they weren't on TV every week. They, that you know, was many, many ages It's ago been a long time ago, that. absolutely. But you can make it worth it. I mean, just look at the promo that they put on the week that, that you know, Brock and Cena weren't there. I mean, mm-hmm. that built up that match more than anything they could have done in the ring. Eric, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm really um, not. I have I have little confidence yeah. in my in my answer. So, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I'm not completely confident here either, but I will say this. If Brock Lesnar wins the title, they can build up something between him and Roman Reigns or, or him and Daniel Bryan or anybody while he's gone. Maybe even The Undertaker. I mean, think about that. The Undertaker still got matches. He doesn't have to just wrestle at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. How great would it be for The Undertaker to come back and challenge Brock Lesnar for the title and have Brock even look more dominant and, and put The Undertaker down again? That's the one thing that's bothering me. is In my head, I see Roman Reigns beating Brock Lesnar on some pay-per-view down the line. Sure. I just don't know when it is. Yeah. So maybe, I mean, and, like I said, who knows? And, and what, I, what I was saying earlier about Rusev is I think, I mean, what a perfect mid-card feud for John Cena... Uh, to go up against Rusev, and what a bump for Rusev to to be working with John Cena. That'd be great. I totally see that. I mean, that reminds me of you know Matt, you know the feuds he's had with Umaga and with Kali mm-hmm. and everything else. But um, again, and I love that. I, I love Cena in the mid card. I, I just that's where yeah. he belongs. I feel like he's so good there. But he can bump back and forth. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that, that's what's great about it. But, uh, All right. yeah, this is tough. So. <laughs> so send us your predictions. We want to know. Remember, send them before Sunday, you cheaters. Yeah. Don't, you know, we won't check our mail maybe till later, but uh, we, we, we'll we timestamp that. We're going to check yeah, it. And, of course, you can watch it uh, on pay-per-view if you still have the pay-per-view uh, cable systems. Or uh, I hear that you can watch it on the WWE Network. What's the price on that? Hmm. $9.99? Yeah, I think it's $9.99. I think so. <laughs> anyway. Signing off. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit subscribe. You can get all the Enhancement Talent videos as soon as they come out. Yep, and next week, yeah, next week we've got some more local folks that are putting on a wrestling show. We've even got some celebrity wrestling fans coming your way. Thank you.